President Zekufado, who is in Oslo, Norway, as part of his working visit to Europe, told the Ghanaian community that Ghana has seen unprecedented development under his leadership in the last three years. He said the introduction of the free SHS policy had ensured that over 1.2 million school kids are benefiting from secondary education and it was a clear indication of government's commitment to invest in the country's human resource. The president says the rate of inflation, reduction in unemployment rates, as well as a strong and robust economy are signs of good management of the economy. The president, last week Thursday, filed his nomination to lead the MPP again in the 2020 election. He told the Ghanaians living in Norway that the MPP has performed well to deserve another term in office. Our country is now working again. This Ghana of limited success and everybody eternally complains. The complaints have not stopped. They will be there. That's part of human uh, progress. But at least things are beginning to work in the country again. And I, I'm, I'm very, very confident that when it comes for the day of accounting on the 7th of December, the Ghanaian people will say, The president added that calls for a new voter register were legitimate. He says the country's electoral commission should be allowed to do what is right. The electoral commission is going to compile a new register. It appears that there's now an eight-year cycle for the electoral commission to compa uh, register. It compiled a register in 2012. It compiled a register in 2004 and then before in 1995. So, but these last three, including this one, are all on the eight-year cycle. I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, the national census itself is done on the what, on a ten-year basis. So it makes sense that so we keep up the electoral commission, uh, the electoral register to admit new people, take out all those who have died, etc. The, the, the intention is to begin, I believe, in April uh, for the rest of the year, uh, where we want as many people as everybody in Ghana who can vote to register. It's important that we all exercise our civic duty to go and vote in December and, and choose the government that we want.